Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel RF Design Basics. In this video, we will take one example of root locus plot where there are complex poles. So you can see here, there are two real poles at s equal to 0 and s equal to minus 6 and two complex poles that we can find out by taking the quadratic equation. So these are the two complex poles. So if there is complex pole, what will be the process of finding the root locus? So there are these two complex poles. First one is minus 2 plus 3j and another one is minus 2 minus 3j. So to know the existence of root locus on real axis, we will be taking real roots and then plotting them on the real axis. So first one is 0 then minus 6. So root locus branches will not be available in this side. As we know that the number of poles plus zeros in the right hand side of this should be odd. So there is no pole zeros this side, so there will not be any branches. When we come across this region, there are one pole here. That's why the root locus will exist over here between 0 to minus 6. And after minus 6 again, root locus will not exist on the real axis. So first of all, we will plot these things on the graph paper. So on the graph paper, I have taken this as origin and I have written all the scales for plus sigma. This is for minus sigma negative values for plus j omega and below is for minus j omega. Now we are going to draw the line where root locus will be present. I will be using the black color to draw that. So the presence of root locus on the real axis is only here. So this is one pole, another pole and now two more poles which is on the complex plane we are going to identify them. One is minus 2 plus 3j. So here minus 2, 1, 2, 3. So minus 2 plus 3j is over here. This is minus 2 plus 3j and just opposite to that we will get minus 2 minus 3j. So these are the complex pole and there will be four number of root locus branches. One will start at 0, second one will start from minus 6, third one will start from here minus 2 plus 3j and fourth one will be from here. As there is no zeros in our expression there is no zeros in numerator we don't have any function in terms of s so there is no zeros all of the branches which starts from these four points will go till infinity will in that infinity now the real problem when we have this complex pole is which direction we are going to draw this branch so for that purpose, we are going to find out the angle of departure. Before that, let us draw the asymptote. So the asymptote calculation, we need to use the formula for angle 2k plus 1 into 180 degree divided by pole minus zeros. So for various value of k, we are going to get the angle for k equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. So there will be 4 number of poles and 4 number of values. Value will start from 0 to 3. So here it is angle. Let's say that is phi. The angles are, if I put k equal to 0, it is 45 degree. 
then for k equal to 1 it is 3 into 180 by 4 so it is 135 degree then we have 225 degree and finally we have 315 degree so we are going to draw that angle also the intersection point on the real axis intersection point of the asymptote on the real axis we can find using summation of all the poles by number of poles so summation of all the poles will be 0 minus 6 minus 2 plus 3j then minus 2 minus 3j divided by 4 number of poles so it is minus 10 by 4 that is minus 2.5 so this will be intersection point of all these asymptote on the real axis so let us take this and draw it for 45 degree we can directly take this and draw first of all identify the point this is minus 2.5 so for 45 degree it should cross from 2.5 here also so this will be our asymptote number 1 and this side will be asymptote number 3 so one is 45 degree and this is 225 degree then other side also we can draw by taking this 45 degree angle if there is a particular angle you can use protector for drawing it so this is the third second and fourth asymptote so our asymptotes are drawn now the thing is this point one branch is starting and moving like this this point also the branch is starting and moving like this we want to know where will be the break away point so for break away point calculation we have to use dk by ds equal to 0 and for this we are going to write the expression again the expression was k by s into s plus 6 into s square plus 4s plus 13 this is our g of s and multiplied by h of s that is open loop transfer function if i add plus 1 in this and equate with 0 this will become our characteristic equation and we can find out k in terms of s so it will be So we will get dk by ds as this now we are going to equate them with 0 dk by ds as minus 4s cube plus 30s square plus 74s plus 78 equal to 0 that means 4s cube plus 30s square plus 74s plus 78 equal to 0 the solution of this is very difficult but only one clue we have what clue we have is this break away point must lie between 0 to minus 6 because one is starting from this side another is starting from this side somewhere both of them is going to break either here this side or this side where it is going to break that we have to calculate so for that one clue is the value will be only between 0 to minus 6 so s must lie between minus 6 and 0 with this clue we'll be using the calculator to find out the value so i'll tell you this is a trick so it will be very helpful let us write this expression 4s cube 
plus 30s square plus 74s plus 78 in calculator. How we are going to write? Let's see. 4 then alpha a. So in place of s, I am going to write a q plus 30 a square plus 74 a plus 78. After writing this expression, press this CALC, CALC, calculate. Now we can put the value from 0 to minus 6, any value. But first we'll see 0 and then we'll see minus 6 and based on that we can optimize it. So here I am writing also at the same time what are the values I am getting. So when I am writing 0, then what value will get? If I put a equal to 0, the value is 78. This is the function value, which is supposed to be 0 for the value where s is equal to solution of this equation. Now I will put minus 6, so calculate minus 6. So it is giving minus 150. For minus 6, it is giving minus 150. That means somewhere in between it is crossing 0. From 78 it has started and going to minus 150. So there will be 0 in between. So random guess, we will take the middle one that is minus 3 and we will see it is in positive side or negative side. So when I take minus 3, it is still in the positive side, 18. So we have to increase further, let us say minus 4 and see what is we are getting. So calculate minus 4. So we have got 6, still positive. Little bit increase, minus 4.1. So this value is 3.21, little bit close to 0, but still not 0. Then we will take minus 4.2, calculate minus 4.2. And this is almost 0. So I think this will be the value. But still we can further calculate one more value. Minus 4.3. And we can see this is going towards minus 3.5. So this will be our solution. So this equation will satisfy for s equal to minus 4.2. This point is known as break away now we are going to put this breakaway point on the chart. So as it is minus 4.2, here we have minus 4 and we can count 2. So it will be roughly this. This point is breakaway point. That means this branch will come till this point and from here it is going to break away at 90 degree like this and then finally it will become parallel to parallel to the asymptote so we have two branch branch number one branch number two and since there are four asymptote every asymptote is responsible for one branch the asymptote number also i will write this is asymptote number one asymptote number two this is asymptote number three and asymptote number 4. So all the branch will be associated with one of the asymptote. So two branch is done. So it will be like this and parallel to, almost parallel to the asymptote. Now we are going to find out the starting point of these two using a formula which is called angle of departure formula angle of departure to calculate angle of departure we just take this angle so from the first pole there are except this pole there are three number of poles there are totally four poles one two three four so when I am calculating angle of departure for this pole, I will be taking all three poles, whatever angle making with this. So for example, when I am taking this 
what is the angle made by this one so we can find that angle so let us join them like this and with this this is just for calculating angle and also with this so all poles all poles are joined with the this pole once we calculate this then we'll go for this calculation so i need to find out this one this will be called as 5p1 5p1 this angle will be 5p2 and this angle will be 5p3 so to calculate these angles for 5p1 it will be 180 minus this side angle this total is 180 so 5p1 is this angle what is that angle this is 10 inverse of this so i can write 180 minus 10 inverse height height is 3 by base 3 by 2 the second 5p2 will be height by base base is 1 2 3 4 height is 3 so it is 10 inverse 3 by 4 and then 5p3 will be from this one it is 90 degree obviously it is 90 degree so we are going to calculate all the angles in degrees so first angle will be 180 minus 10 inverse 3 by 2 and this is 123.69 degree the second one is 10 inverse 3 by 4 and this is 36.87 degree and then fourth one is 90 degree add if you add all the angles what we get is 123.69 plus 36.87 plus 90 the angle is 250.56 degrees now the angle of departure calculation is once you do all this calculation the angle of departure AOD will be 180 degree minus all the addition 5p1 5p2 plus 5p3 that is 180 minus 250.56 degrees so we can write 180 minus this is minus 70 point 56 degree so angle of departure will be minus 70 point 56 degree is 70 so minus 70.5 is somewhere here and now we are going to draw the angle so this is angle of departure means the branch will start at this angle and finally it will move like this with parallel with the asymptote if you calculate this angle this is 70.56 negative angle minus 70.56 similarly since this is the complex conjugate if you do the calculation and you are getting angle of departure here minus 70.56 degree here you will be getting plus 70.56 degree that means it will be just mirror image of the above for that we can find out minus 70.56 will be 60 70 here 
So it is going to start. This is the angle of departure now. Angle of departure. So it will start like this. And finally it will turn with parallel with this value. And the stable region will be when it is crossing this point. So right hand side whatever is the value of k will not be stable any value of k k infinity is over here and whatever is the value of k over here that will make this system unstable so i hope you will be able to draw root locus if there are complex poles in the question thank you